Hello guys, what's up? And welcome to the video tutorial for video effects done by me, Luke Sakado. Yeah, done by me. <laughs> Alright, this um, video effects tutorial was specially requested by one of my friends here, Yui. Um, I know you're new to Sony Vegas and 12, well, near to Sony Vegas 12, because pretty much it's a complicated shit. A lot of people don't understand how to use it when they first opened it, because it's totally different from 8 and 9. Not saying that, yeah, we're noobs or whatever, it's just that it's really different from the usual 8 and 9 that we deal with, because it's much more neater, I guess, but I still prefer 8 and 9. Stick with 8 and 9, if possible. <laughs> but if you want the effects, you can come 12. And yep. First of all, of course, the most important thing you gotta open your Sony Vegas, which I already did, and yeah, I pretty much did. I'm sorry, it's so messy. But, yeah. And basically, for the animation people, if you wanna animate, like usually, like those series makers. You first wonder how do you use the video effects here because it's quite different from how 8 and 9 is because the moment when you drag an effect over the timeline's below there but when you drag over this one um, you'll see nothing and I'm sure you don't understand what I'm talking about right now because I've not showed you uh, let's take us for example um, wash and blur what we do is that we drag in the extreme blur, so you'll see my character blurred off like that. And you'll see this pop-up window, and you'll notice there is no timeline for you to adjust your, you know, your how blurry you want it to be, how blurry you don't want it to be, or you want it to be blurred to the max. I don't know how you want it to be, whatever you want it to be. And yeah, you notice that my character's gone, and you wonder how... You know, you're gonna adjust it to make it come back. Yeah, like that. So basically, don't panic. It's here. It's now called animate. This function is now called animate. And what you do is that you click on it and you'll notice, oh, the timeline's back. So what you do is that to create a keyframe, you have to move the settings above. But there's one thing you gotta be aware of that. If you only click one side, one part of it, only that line will appear, that timeline for this effect. This line of horizontal range will only appear because you only click this one but not the vertical. Be aware that you're only doing it for one side of it but not all. If you want both, you have to click both. So both of them will appear. So what you do is that if you want it to be a bit faster to appear, then you... Yep, adjust it back, and you'll see my character back again. But if you want it to be slower, you drag it back. Like, normal keyframes, you know, like, the nearer it is, the faster it is. The backer it is, the slower it is. So, yeah. So what you do is that you will see notice from my character disappear, and slowly forming back, and yep, there it is. If you want the background to be the same, just do the same for the background. And you'll notice your background's totally blurred off. And what you do is that you blur it to the max, and yep. Click animate, and yep, unblur it. And it will be the same as my, what I did just now to my character. And you notice know, slowly for me bad, and I'm sorry, that the background's slow. And there we go. It works the same for, you know, your cookie cutter and uh, whatever you wish to do. Basically, it's just that simple. 
not much difference from Sony Vegas. It works the same for all the effects that you wish to add in. Like for example, you want to add in lens flare. You know, you want your character to sparkle, and yeah, you just need to add. You just need to click on the timeline and don't get confused from your above whatever you just put. Like Gaussian blur, is Gaussian blur, lens flare, is lens flare. You just be aware of where you put it. So. For example, you put the light position here, and you want to change it here. Yeah. And you want it there, like somewhere else. So, then you'll see your, my, your character. And you'll see this like wine sphere appearing in your character, and there it is. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean that you know it works the same for any other character or any other thing you want to do in your series as long as you know you just put the animate in fact there and yeah it'll be there you just click anything here and it'll come accordingly and it'll appear accordingly to how you want it to appear if you don't want it to appear just click it and it'll be gone if you want these effects off, like usual, just click this remove select button and one by one and all of them will be gone. Like how I made this gone and how I made the blur effect gone and everything. Yeah. It's just that simple. I hope this makes it similar and no to be exact simpler for you guys to understand and I guess that's all. <laughs> Um, if you guys have any problems with Sony Vegas 12, I guess you can ask me. And I'm not the best teacher, first of all, but I like to see if I can help, I'll definitely help you guys. And about those who are wondering about interconnection, I apologize that I've not been able to get it up. <laughs> yeah, college sucks. <laughs> Takes up your time on doing work and. Yes, the problems of life and everything. But yeah, I hope this somehow helps you guys in your future animating, I guess. And thanks for watching and see you guys soon.